The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 5 Thoughts. This episode is called The Return. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. Another episode I love. The show is rated TVPG, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, really appreciate this episode following up on, you know, yeah. Like, the various Bad Batchers are happy to have Crosshair back, like, overall, you know, the they do still, you know, want him to be safe, but there is, you know, it is complicated, hey, it's, it's complicated, and, yeah, I thought they did a, a great job exploring that here, especially Hunter and Crosshair have issues, and... Let's see. <laughs> yeah, um, I forget their names, but the the two, you know, they they found crosshair too because you know there's some some fruit next to him, and it's like crosshair did not go and ask can you know for for himself. That was because they, yeah, that's that's a good little and and yeah, uh, love seeing Ozzy again, and yeah. Not always the best with bad news. It tells Crosshair, you know, your accuracy is at 53%, well below your, you, you know, previous average or something, something like that, which does, of course, make it very tense once he has to try to shoot the, the worm. And, yeah, it is legitimately kind of sweet. They didn't throw out his old armor. And it still fits. Let's see. Yeah, and there's an argument between Crosshair and Hunter. And afterwards, you know, Omega's like, I, I told you to talk, not argue. He started it. Okay, Crosshair, you are really not... You're you're very much making her case that she's the older sister here. That was that was a very younger brother talking to responsible older sister moment right there. And yeah, so they they realize they have to dig and they start and then Batcher being the good dog that you know, Batcher is you know picks up oh person wants me to dig you got it fam and you know dig 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 dig. And once done, you know, sticks set up and like just adorable. Just yeah. Let's see. If if I was still buying toys, I'd probably buy a batcher. And let's see. Yeah, another verbal confrontation between Crosshair and Hunter. And yeah, you know, it is this thing that, like Crosshair blames Hunter, you know, is is yeah, tells Hunter. I was the one who got Omega out of that place, not you. And, you know, talking about how, you know, he he took out an Imperial officer. And I do also appreciate, you know, I think it's, yeah, close to the end of the episode, he's like, I, I thought these were the good guys. You know, I thought I was doing the right thing here. And, yeah, very clever that the perimeter was... You know, the reason it was emitting that noise was to keep away this massive creature, which, you know, it its sense of hearing is much higher than, you know, human being or clone, which is human adjacent. And as such, you know, it can't stand that noise. It can't get past that, that spot. So, yeah, very, very nicely done. And it felt very Star Wars to have this massive thing. It really reminded me of that one level in Jedi Academy where there's also... That's not that's not a snow planet. If I recall... Oh, it's been years. I remember it as being a desert planet. But yeah, there's, you know, somewhat similar thing. And... Wrecker reaches the fuse box. Fuse box? Or Spoonie with the counter. And, yeah, very tense as they have to make a run for the perimeter. And, 
I love that what you know, once they're safe and like Batcher is aware that you know they're gonna yeah, the worm can't attack, and then it stands there and like barks and growls because like you know, very very performative, you know. That was that was adorable. <laughs> and that's yeah, very, very dog like, you know, you stay away from my people, we're safe, right? Stay away from my people here. And let's see. The um, yeah, you know, really solid episode. I really appreciate you know the 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 Empire don't make a single appearance in this episode. I think they would have it would have been too much. I think we need the the Bad Batchers away from the Empire, at least for this episode, for them to to try to heal the wounds. And yeah, I I really appreciate that there is some growth you know by the end of the episode crosshair is able to basically apologize and say you know i really did think that it was the right thing you know i i know i betrayed you you know he says those words i betrayed you and let's see and and that's also you know of course hunter being the team leader he's like trying to figure you know can i trust this guy because he betrayed us before and and Omega trying to heal, you know, other, yeah, the relationships that matter to her. And, yeah, uh, I don't think I really have anything else to say about this one. Um, right, very tense when, when Hunter ended up you know, down the, the hole of, uh, yeah, and, and them trying to, the others trying to get him back out of there, and, yeah, I think that is everything, and, and, yeah, you know, they made a little progress, they got a step closer to, you know, the overall goal, so, you know, because, cause like, at the end of the day, you could have had the conversations, even if they were just hanging out on the, the Paradise planet, you know, but no. We actually did make a little bit of actual plot progress as well. So, yeah. You know, very Star Wars. There's some plot. There's also some character. There's, you know, otherworldly creature stuff. And, yeah. I... Yes, that is everything. Uh, really looking forward to next week's episode, which I may be able to do the same day. If not, then it will be Thursday. But yeah, really looking forward to it.